I make Foster, I'm one half of Foster and Alan. I was listening to music since I was three or four, and uh, I was accordion mad since I was, I suppose, four or five or six maybe. And uh, when I was a little lad, I used to be in my grandmother's house up outside Nias, outside Ballymore Eustace, and she had a, a gramophone, one of the wind-up gramophones, and uh, a load of, of Jimmy Shand LPs. And uh, I used to have these on, and I'd be listening to Jimmy Shand playing his accordion, and uh, I never wanted to do anything else. And then a uh, distant cousin of mine, he played accordion with the Gallad Last Cayley Band from Nias, who were probably the most famous Irish Cayley Band at the time. And uh, listening to him and looking at him, I didn't want to do anything else, only... And he play an accordion and, and play music for a living and uh, lucky enough it worked out. My first place to play for money was in Lochna Valley, old school. It's about eight, eight or ten miles outside Mullingar and they used to have a practice Cayley on a Tuesday night and uh, there was a very famous banjo mandolin player from Castletown Gagan, which was only up the road from Loch Valley called Billy Whelan. And uh, Billy would be playing at this and they got me to help him out. I was about 14 or 15 at the time. And uh, Billy and myself used to play for this practice Cayley every Tuesday night. And uh, Billy got a pound and I got 10 shillings, which was 50 pence or I suppose 50 cent now or whatever. But uh, 10 shillings was a serious lot of money, you know, 50 years ago. Uh, I was probably the richest fellow going to school in Ballymahan because, you know, you'd be able to go in and buy sweets every evening on the head of this playing music on a Tuesday night. Well, this is Milton National School where I finished my primary school days. Uh, this is the first stage I ever played on, um, first time I was ever appeared in public. In December 1960, I was just uh, two weeks after my 13th birthday. I started broadcasting in 1963, um, two years after RTE Television opened. Um, Foster and Allen came about in... Um, we didn't start until 1975, but I had been looking at the Alexander brothers from Scotland from 1968. I'd seen them on the Late Late Show. Two brothers, one had playing an accordion, the other fella playing the piano and singing. And I figured there should be an Irish version, but I couldn't get a suitable singer who played the piano. Then I got to know Tony about 1960. I had known him at this stage when I decided that there should be an Irish version of the Alexander Brothers, but he was playing in a show band and he wasn't really interested in, in going in playing in pubs and in a two piece. But anyway, I kept at him and at him and Constant Tippin wears a stone. Uh, in nineteen seventy four I was at him again and he said, um, if you join our band and it doesn't take off uh, well in six months, I'll go on the road with you. So we played with the band for six months. We were in England and we had no work when we came home. And this guy in Kilburn Park in London uh, had just opened a pub. And he said, why don't you and Tony stay behind for a week, just the two of you and play in the pub. And we did, and that was, that was the start of Foster and Allen. The highlight of my music career is very, very simple. Listen to Jimmy Shand and his band from Scotland from, I was definitely since I was five or six. Uh, getting to meet Jimmy Shand, you know, was a serious highlight. Uh, the fact that he was a, a seriously nice person was two highlights. And the third and most important one, his most famous tune uh, all over the world was, was called the Blue Bell Polka. And uh, I got to play that with him on one of the Foster and Allen videos. And that was, uh, you know, outweighed anything I had done, outweighed all Ireland 
titles outweighed being on top of the pops. You know, nothing could compare with, uh, w w for me, with, with playing with Jimmy Shand. And we, our 40th anniversary is next year, 2015. And for that, uh, we probably won't be doing very much different than any other year. Um, we will be working in Ireland, we'll be working in the UK, we'll go to Australia, New Zealand, and uh, the eastern side of Canada, uh, Nova Scotia, Newfoundland. Uh, we don't do anything in the middle of Canada or out west, but every second year we do Australia and New Zealand and Canada, plus Ireland and the UK. So as it turns out, it'll be coinciding with uh, with our 40th anniversary. So we'll look at it, we'll, we'll enjoy it anyway and see will we get another 40.